I guess it all really began for us nearly 30 years ago now, uh, 1989, I think, when we yep. first graduated. Mm -hmm. And we produced identical degree shows. Louise produced uh, her degree show was in Dundee and mine was in Newcastle. Some of these sort of images were staged and one particular one was staged in our parents' garage <laughs> at home. We were working with each other as subjects. We made two of everything mm -hmm. and um, what was interesting about the situation was that it meant the colleges had to collaborate as well mm. because if they'd given us different uh, marks or different grades Great, yes. then they were effectively assessing the same work. I think when we were growing up though I think we always wanted to be you know painting and drawing and we were always in a conversation and you know she is my twin sister so <laughs> she is. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Do you want to just make a space for me with this, sis? Okay. The studio, it's a space where we come and we work things through yeah. and try things out. I sort of think perhaps it might be more interesting to have, um, you know, like the three images and maybe one of, a, of an extreme close-up in a triptych. Really like that one, that end one, actually, that's a good idea. I think the temptation is to think when you talk about how we work together that we should have allocated roles. I think if we felt we were in mm. such a regimented you know, oh, Jane's just the one that does the telephone calls and I'm just the one that, <laughs> you know, sends emails. It wouldn't be interesting, as interesting in a way. So I think the thing is, is that you just see what needs to be done and you get involved. It's almost like a kind of model. That's it. It is, in some respects, isn't it? Yeah. Certainly just by the when you see yeah. this with this. Yeah. As twins, you do sort of... Uh, push each other in some, mm. some, challenge some each yeah, other. and challenge each other, yeah. yeah. But I think it stems more from conversation, really, in a way, and and familiarity, in a way. Mm. I think familiarity to, to want to go into spaces together and kind of experience something together, but actually to still uh, be able to challenge each other in, in that context. Years ago, we kind of um, uh, exteriorized the process and we made a film called Hypnotic Suggestion 505. Mm -hmm. And it was a piece that involved us both going under hypnosis. As that hand lifts higher toward your face. It was an interesting experiment because it kind of gave us both an, an, uh, an exteriorizing of where that thought process or where mm -hmm. we were trying to take ourselves and to travel and to move through a space and to examine something together. Mm -hmm. And when it touches your face, you can enter a deep, hypnotic trance. False positives, false negatives. I guess you could say they were self-portraits. Um, it was looking at the politics of surveillance, but also understanding face recognition in that technology. And dazzle camouflage. And dazzle camouflage, and how dazzle camouflage can confuse the camera in terms of how it reads the face, in terms of face recognition. Interesting to kind of think in terms of surveillance and how to confuse identity. Considering surveillance and identity, you know, it is something that's been consistent through our work. Just imagining what it is to be surveying your neighbour, to what it is to be surveying your sister, what it is to be surveying someone who's very, very close to you. <laughs> Calibrating what is the the same, what is the different, you know, all of those questions constantly are, are presented when you say you're a twin. You know, of course. When normal siblings, we do argue, you know, and we do fall out of things. I think all of that um, is important to kind of bring in terms of what we do in a way, because actually we don't necessarily want something that's sort of in necessarily always in agreement and harmony in mm -hmm. some respects. I think actually it's more interesting to find where the space challenges us both. Yeah. And in fact, as long as it's challenging us both, mm. then, then it's interesting. Yeah. Would you think you'd be where you're at now if you'd gone it alone? <laughs> gone it alone. Yeah. I keep trying to bump her off. I love no. it. I love <clears throat> it. Well, 
I don't, you know, I think that's a, it's, um, I think uh, there's a very interesting thing where people always say, don't you ever get frustrated that you want to kind of maybe make some work on your own and branch out on your own. Mm. You know, I think we both feel we perfectly fulfill making our work on our own within what we do together, in fact. But conversely as well, I don't think we would be yeah. here doing what we are right now if we hadn't done it together. Mm -hmm.